This is Vibes Cartel and take my advice. Come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You know what I mean? No? Oh. So there you have it. Should Cartel be promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines? That is the question this morning. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. A oofa idea. A oofa idea. Whose bright idea was this to make Vibes Cartel the face of St. Vincent? I mean, tourism, the face of tourism, what were you thinking? It reminds me of 18 months ago when Bud Light used Delan Mulvaney for actually promote them brand. And my, my, oh my, it backfired. Big time slackness go down. Bud Light lost billions. Yo, a beer things go on. People, be careful what you do, you know. And everybody if you represent your brand, you know. And everybody, yo, people, it gets sticky, you know. Because you have no Vinci. Them not like it. The Vince in them now. Yo, people are trouble, trouble, trouble. But Comrade Ralph is doing his links in Jamaica a favor. Keep them puppets safe. And in return, Vice Barbers boosts up Comrade Ralph's image to the Vince people. Them. This will come in handy for the election we do next year. The two elections they will do. St. Vincent election and Jamaica election will be very interesting. Barabbas is scheduled to play a role in both. Now, I don't know if they're going to go ahead with plans or if I call this get put out there now, but we will see. But what is sure is that the political boosting of Gonzalez is already in motion. That's why if you go on Gonzalez's speech, all you see is Barabbas. I take picture with people and I walk around. He's basically Gonzalez's political campaign manager. This is pathetic. But a desperate man will do anything. I hope you know Survives Cartel fans are a special, special type of stupid. A special type of dummy. Yo, them, them, them different. Yo, John or Rastafari. People can slow so. After Sir P do the video, I'm react to it. Man and man are talking about, you idiot, you know, you know, bad mind, this and that and that. You know, make up stuff. I mean, I say, you idiot, you know, see reality. What you think? What you think I happen? You think I make people make up this, brother? A real something. The Prime Minister use Vice Cartel for campaign. A campaign, him a campaign. He might try to use him for boost him popularity for boost everything so he can win the election again. Vibes Cartel at DJ Palmer is just a means to an end for both political party, Jamaica the PNP and Gonzalez party. Who no need to pay attention? Watch out now. Me I go play some video clippings, car boy. Yo boy, the Vincent them. Them I go hard. The people them I go. Hey, them I go rebel, you know. Them I go run him out. Of, hey, watch what I go go on. He might get run out of town. Believe it. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome, welcome welcome it is a firestorm in st vincent and the grenadines this morning why is this so because this man on the screen with me vibes cartel since he's touched down in st vincent it's just controversy after controversy and based on which side of the divide that you're on and i mean political divide that will fuel your comments and what they would be there's an outcry via social media and on radio in St. Vincent as Vibes Cartel has emerged as the face of the island's tourism product. And dare me to say the unofficial face because the government has not made an announcement that he is a tourism ambassador, right? Jara Stafari, them people are move away. So you mean to tell me say the Prime Minister need to come out and officially, officially point out to everyone, well, Vibes Cartel is the brand ambassador, he's the face of the tourism board, blah, blah, blah. Them need to officially do it. I mean, him actually endorsing him officially. Have him in him home, have him all about a campaign, all over him social media. You not think say, that's enough? The man a campaign, actively a campaign in favor of Gonzalez. And you try to tell me, say, no, bro, uno slow. God, no, uno slow. Now, it all came about because of a video vibes cartel did promoting St. Vincent and Grenadines and encouraging visitors to come to the island. Now, the video was shared on Discover SVG Facebook page. That Facebook page belongs to what? St. Vincent and the Grenadines Tourism Authority, the government. So that's the problem right there. The video has been shared 917 times 
it garnered about 1.5 k likes and racked up about 150,000 views since August 24th. Oh, okay. So you never know the vice cartel. I want a new brand ambassador. Okay, okay. Now you know. Now you know. He's officially endorsed by the government. And understand this, you know, the world is watching. The world is watching. I don't know what's what's the play right here. Oh, the man feel like he's gonna get away with this talking about the Prime Minister. Oh, him feel like he's gonna pull this off. John, no people. There is a fire storm in St. Vincent. People are not liking it because they're thinking that Carter should not be the face of the tourism product. Like I said, I'm not sure the government said it he is. This is people's opinion. If you're the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, or you're in charge of the tourism sector, and you're telling me that Vibes Cartel is the person you choose to be a representative, the face, the branding of your country. No, y'all are completely out your goddamn mind. Me no know who for idea, who sign off on this, who thought this was gonna fly? But I assure you, some people are gonna speak up. And it's only gonna get worse because as it spreads more and more, the wildfire is gonna burn. And people are gonna talk up because once them staff you know who him is, cause enough people, them hear things but them don't know exactly who him is. And the more them hear, Ja, no, the more them are gonna rebel. Vincentian lawyer Jumo Thomas also says that Cartel as the face of the tourism product is bad for businesses in SVG. And I'll play a video very soon as to why he thinks that Cartel face advertising SVG or advocating for visitors to come to SVG is bad for business. I'll play a video with him soon explaining why he thinks it's bad for business. But for us, I want to go to some of the comments that we saw on social media. After I played a video of cartel promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Watch this video. If the Jamaican government was to make Vibes Cartel the face of tourism in Jamaica, I assure you, that would not fly no way and no oh. We now sit, we now stand, we now work with that. That cannot be. No convicted murderer. We not care about quash conviction or acquittal because at the end of the day, it's not like they were found innocent. So there is no way we're going to accept this guy for the face of or the branding of anything major in our country because that not look right. The optics not look right. So for St. Vincent to actually grab him, remember, we're talking about St. Vincent Vincent, who is number two on the murder per capita chart in the world, number two, second to only Jamaica, who is number one. And think about that, people. Both of the country them are struggling with murder, struggle them are struggling with crime and violence. And you're telling me Vibes Cartel is going to be the face of the tourism product that cannot make any sense when Vibes Cartel is allegedly linked to the most deadliest gang in the Caribbean in history. In the history of gangs in the Caribbean, he is said to be a Dan, one of the leaders or major part of one of the most or the most deadliest gang in the Caribbean ever. And you're telling me he's the face of what? That cannot make any sense. <laughs> hey, planning a vacation? Wanna spend time in a nice Caribbean getaway? This is Vibes Cartel and take my advice. Come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You know what I mean? No? Oh. Look on all them big time fool initia. The man have an encouraged round head like a gang. Like a gangster. Member and a troop gang sign. Them are gonna say Gaza is a gang. Him crew, whatever, him a troop gang sign. The man a troop gang sign and have gang flag and all sorts of nonsense, gang paraphernalia. People, people, this does not make any sense. It's absolutely nonsense. Nonsensical. How could they do this? Who sign off on this? So you note the logo there. It, it says Discover SVG. So that is the official logo of the tourism authority here. So do you see where the controversy comes in and why people are saying that he is the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines tourism product and he should not be. 
right? It no matter how you slice and dice it, you know, he is representing. He is doing the commercial. It's him. He's the one talking. It's his face and voice. So whether or not it's official or unofficial, he is still a representative for the tourism brand of SVG, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So get that correct, people. Now, some of the comments on social media is terrible. When I tell you terrible, let's go to them and see what they're saying. This one says, Rao should not be encouraging these elements in SVG. Marlon also has been projecting a fake bad boy persona. What happened if bad vibes take root in the Southern Caribbean in search for an expansion of their Jamaican operation? So that's one comment. Clearly this person is not having any of it, you know, people. All Marlon, the person that slap with it, you know. I say, yo, he might project on some fake bad boy thing, you know. Even though, even though we don't believe him still, he might project, you know. Him depends on some badness thing, just like Vibes Cartel. And we don't want them to represent the country, you know. Take with them, you know. Them need to take with themselves, you know. Yeah, yeah. So they're saying that Rao should not be encouraging these elements in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let's go to the other one. Very disappointed that no one encouraged him to visit the islands and saw the disaster of the poor people who suffered from the hurricanes just as Colin Smith TV did, right? So you're thinking that he should have been taken to see the people who were affected by the hurricane and maybe he could have done some good promotion to get even further help for them. You, 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 whoever you are, the person who dropped this comment right here, make me tell you this. Let me speak it in English as best as possible. Your Prime Minister does not need Vives Cartel or Marlon Samuel's help to actually aid the people who are suffering from the devastation caused by Hurricane Beryl. And the mere fact that you left that comment tells us a lot. You don't actually know how the government is supposed to work. How the government is supposed to operate and hate its citizens who are suffering. The fact that you are not pointing that out, the government failure, you look to Vives Cartel to come to your island and campaign to who ask who for help who for help the people them not the prime minister not your government boy oh boy oh boy let's continue to the other one it says a convicted felon advertising for saint vincent is this where we are now very disappointed all right well i'll take that as a rhetorical question because you already know yes that's where you are yes a convicted well quash i mean acquitted murderer is now representing your tourism brand yeah yeah that that is actually happening how you feel about that oh you're disappointed oh yeah um i'm um, okay okay your prime minister is not though let's go to the other one it says the bleach man from jail is advertising good luck with that this is all a political stunt. Like I said to you, cartel emerge in a red t-shirt. Of course, that red t-shirt, that color red, is the color of the political party, usually the party which is in government. Let's take another one. My, 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 ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what did I just hear? What did I just hear just now? That Vibes Cartel is done in the color red. Red at the color way my wear, which is the color of Gonzalez party, the sitting party, the current prime minister of the country, the red of him color. And the man put Vives Cartel in a red shirt for represent the brand, the, the tourism brand of SVG. Oh dear, oh dear. You can't make it up. You cannot make this up. A party shop business, this, or some jokes in thing, this. It says this is who you have promoting aspects of brands of SVG. Really? Well, we reach where we're going now, where it can now promote our country products, right? So let's go to the other one. It says, Blood Clark, the world boss, is now the face of St. Vincent after 35 days out. So you now have an idea as to sentiments expressed in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And like I said, it's based on whichever divide you find yourself. Okay, okay. Just in case you don't understand, there are two parties, just like Jamaica, JLP, PNP. Ralph Gonzalez, who is the current prime minister, has started his campaign, his bid for re-election, and Vives Cartel is a tool, a puppet that he's using to boost his popularity and gain voters. You understand? So Vives Cartel, he might use him. I use him influence, him clothes for gain voters that's basically it people it's not complicated and at the same thing the people's national party will be doing they will also be using vibes cartel to fuel their election their chance for kick out the jlp out of office and take over so the pnp the maga use vibes cartel because we all know my pnp and we see him down the clouds the color 
orange when him come out of prison. When I ask Christ what I go on this. Oh. You may get positive or negative comments, right? But the lawyer Jomo Thomas to this morning was really, really handing it to the government. I'm going to play a video right now of him talking about why cartel should not be the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines tourism product. Let's listen to this video. But by the logic, by the very logic which our people speak, at least those who immorally, unethically support and celebrate what is happening with cartel in St. Vincent. Well, by that logic, Let's bring Christopher Michael Dudo Skok. He was also, we can get him from a jail cell someplace in the United States. He was popular. We can get El Chapo. The Mafia Dan, who's wildly popular. He had so much money, he wanted to um, pay off the national debt of Colombia. And better yet, who better than the sweet voice Krona, R. Kelly? Let us bring him. He has millions. <laughs> I hear so the madness start, people. I hear so the thing get grimy. Hold on, the man. The man I say when I bring cartel come here, so might as well to bring Christopher Dodders Coke. The man has said might as well bring El Chapo. You must can dig up a prison and find them. They have influence too. Why not bring R. Kelly? The sweet vice of R. Kelly. Him, him popular. Him have money. Him have influence. I'm telling y'all from now. This ain't going end well. It ain't going end well people. It ain't going end well. I am assuring you. A fans. And even though he has been. Convicted and sentenced. For certain improper acts, criminal acts, he's popular too. Because if the sole criteria criterion is popularity and what that person can bring, then there's no hold bars as to who we can bring. No hold bars on who we could bring. And this is why I say, and I quoted it, because the Prime Minister likes to talk about it. Some of us know the price of everything and the value of nothing. What the hell is the value of making Vibes Cartel the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines? What? There's no value. There's zero value. Them know the price of everything, but them don't know the value of nothing. <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Five Star World Boss, Mr. Ralph Gonzalez, Wolande, Wolande, brother, what's the value of Vibes Cartel? Being the face for tourism for SVG, what is the value? Zero, nothing. But Prime Minister Gonzalez, that demand, he might go find something more tight. He might go make something more tight. The man want the re election, and it look like say, him not care how him get it. Him want it, he must have it, and he's gonna have it by all means necessary. Because it's not, it's gonna come to naught. It's going to come to naught. Nobody is going to jump and say, or to the extent that we assume that some people would come, it is not going to be sufficient for the alignment which we place on having Vice Cartel as the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So that's a lawyer expressing why he doesn't think that Cartel should be the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines or even the face of the St. Vincent's tourism product. So, Well, 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 let me be very frank with y'all. With Vice Cartel as the face of tourism for SVG, let me tell y'all this. If I, I'm, I'm Jamaican, me a Jamaican, member good, me a big time Jamaican. Me represent brand Jamaica. So let me make it clear to y'all. If I saw someone like Vibes Cartel representing a country, me nah go there. I am not going there. And to be honest with y'all, with him representing St. Vincent and the Grenadines, I am not looking forward to going to that country ever. Ever, 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 ever. Because if I him I represent that country there, 
me no want nothing for do with that country there. Sad enough, I can't disown my own country, so me have to work with it. But honestly, Vibes Cartel representing Jamaica, yeah, not a good look either. But the people them love him, me can't fight that. You know where him stand for, or where him stand for. Popularity, remember the man have tune, you know. So for me have music, you can't get away with anything. I saw you go one night time them. That's the discussion this morning in St. Vincent Tanagani. It is a hot one, and I believe it will continue throughout the day. Right, it will continue throughout the day, and you heard him talking about the act of mercy. And the prime minister mentioned last week that Cartel's visit here is an act of mercy. It was widely distributed in the regional media. The lawyer thinks that that is hogwash and makes no sense because Gonzalo did not have mercy. He said on the scores of public servants who were fired for not taking the COVID vaccine. It is hogwash, bullcrap, and all of those things mixed up together, vomit everything. Because when you really think about it, he has been very active, very active for a sickly man, quote unquote, who went there for medical care and all of that. All of a sudden, they wanna speak here, speak there. People, it's all, all, yeah. We see what I go on. Them can't cover it up. I mean, the purpose of him being there and representing the government don't make no sense if it's undercover, so it had to be publicly. But them try a little something for try mask it, but it's clear and present. He's there for political reasons. I remember someone commenting on one of my live streams that Vibes Cartel was going to send Vincent and the Grenadines to sign a contract with the government to promote the government, to be a part of the government or something like that. And I dismissed it. I'm saying that's nonsensical. That can't be. No, no, no way. A, a, a person who just came from prison after spending 13 years of murder is going to be representing a country. Me not understand, me, me can't comprehend, I couldn't fathom it, so I just dismissed it totally. But, um, okay, that person knew a lot more than I thought. So he teared into the government again on that issue and also even further on Vibes Cartel. Listen to this. A public servants who were unceremoniously dismissed, telling them, no job, no job. Where is the mercy? to the other hundreds in the public service who were fired because private sector people took the lead from this government. And whereas they were forcing people to take a vaccine, they exempted themselves. They said parliament, parliamentarians don't have to take it just to show how this game was such a wicked um, thing. They didn't have to take it. But they got all of the parliament staff to take it but they didn't they were exempted where was the mercy oh dear oh dear don't get me started on this whole pandemic nonsense you know covid and people losing their job because they, uh, they didn't take the job and all of that the government didn't actually look out for the people them even though the ones who didn't take it was right for not taking it you know, and a lot of people who actually took it, they suffered dire consequences for taking it. So it's just ironic how life is, you know. But me now go get into it, you know, because it's very political. A lot of people believe, yeah, the jobs are still good and some people believe it's not good. And, you know, I'll let that be for now. So we know that the, 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 the view about mercy is a game. And being, you know, one great man once said that sometimes we see manifestations and they come first as tragedy and then as fast. What we are seeing in St. Vincent is a tragedy. It's a tragedy of arrogance. And I try to make that point in my column last Friday. It's a tragedy that good thinking ordinary people, people who would normally put their lives on the line for St. Vincent, would line up with this kind of nonsense simply because a regime which they support is hoisting this on the nation. This isn't a good policy. not good policy it should be rejected five cartel should not be the face 
of our tourism products. Vibes Cartel supporters and Ralph Gonzalez supporters are going to come together and work together to re-elect this individual and probably try to give Vibes Cartel a political position in, you know, office and whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's nonsense, pure nonsense. But you know what? Crazy things have happened. Crazier things have happened. So who knows? It might work. Something can something can go on. We are gonna watch and see how it actually turn out. If they're gonna run him out of town, if they're gonna chase this crazy world boss out of town. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We have to watch and see. Well, there you have it. Lawyer really hammered the government here this morning. Let's continue the discussion and hear what you have to say. Wherever you are in the world, it doesn't matter. I need to know what you're saying about this whole issue of Vibes Cartel promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I believe that anybody would be happy for their country to promote it, but it appears in this segment that people are not happy with cartel promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And like I said, it's based on whichever divide you come from, you'll get different opinions. So let's hear from you in the comment section. Subscribe, share the video, because this man is causing a firestorm in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Where the Vincent people them there? Where the St. Vincent and Grenadines people them there? Drop on a comment panda one here. All who love Vibes Cartel and happy him there. Drop some comments. All who not like it, drop some comments. Make we see who actually like him being there and who don't. Make we see it balance out. And the people them who don't come from St. Vincent. Come on, no man. Load the people them. Make them comment. Make we see who support and who don't support. Nonetheless, it's political. Absolute nonsense absolute madness boy oh boy that one a rough it rough me tell you no say i saw it did a go go we see sir p run out and people are trying to bash him as always the prophet is right once again but you know when you do your research and mass up the thing you know how the thing go plus time and time again we have seen these things take root and we, we start to see through the thing we start to see through it it's clear and present to us but if it's not apparent to you we can't help you and we know a whole of sheep out there whole of sheep in a jamaica whole of sheep across the world but we are gonna watch and see love and respect to all of the people and we tune in you don't know say i don't saw news and reviews and the captain of the vulture squad i talk to you know yeah edmund drunker ah!